After completing a successful hostage rescue mission in Mombasa, U.S. Marine Ray Garrison and his wife Gina take a vacation in an Italian seaside town on the Amalfi Coast. They are abducted by a mercenary gang commanded by Martin Axe, who demands to know how the U.S. military discovered the captive's location. Axe kills Jenna in front of Ray after he claims that he cannot answer since he is not privy to this knowledge. Ray swears vengeance, and Axe murders him as well. Ray awakens in the labs of Rising Spirit Tech, Rest, a Kuala Lumpur-based corporation that specializes in cybernetic improvements for handicapped U.S. military troops. Dr. Emil Harting, CO and main scientist, inform Ray that he is the first successful human subject of the bloodshot. Program which has resurrected and healed him through the infusion of experimental nanite technology, which has now replaced his entire bloodstream. This technology boosts his power and cures his injuries, but the nanites must be replenished and recharged on a regular basis or he would succumb to injury and die again. As the nanites use their full strength, a crimson blazing circle of light appears on Ray's chest. Ray meets Dr. Harding's other patients, including former U.S. Navy diver Keat, whom he befriends, retired military member Marcus Tibbs, and ex-Navy SEAL Jimmy Darton, who openly dislikes Garrison. He leaves to revenge Gina's death after seeing flashbacks of her and Axe. Ray hunts down Axe to Budapest and murders him along with his bodyguards, using the nanites and rest servers to break into databases. Ray is put to sleep at rest while his nanites are restarted. Harding then replaces Ray's memories with a fresh scenario of Gina's death, this time with Axe's colleague Nick Burris as the perpetrator, as he has done many times before. Kate complains about Harding changing Ray's memories so that he would go after various targets without hesitation or guilt, but she is ignored and reminded that Rust may kill her by disabling her upgrades. Ray reawakens, amnesiac once more, and is reintroduced to Rust. He then has flashbacks of Barris kidnapping and murdering him and Jenna. Motivated by vengeance, he follows Barris down to East Sussex and murders him, despite the man's pleas that rest is lying. Wilfred Wiggins, a programmer compelled to work for Barris, detonates an MP device, rendering Ray unconscious and cutting him off from Rost. Ray awakens at Wiggins' office with conflicting recollections of who killed Jaina. Wiggins assists him in realizing Rust has been influencing him in order for him to kill the company's opponents and rivals. Ray finds Jenna and discovers that she is still alive, but that their relationship ended five years ago and that she has now raised a family in London. Harding dispatches Kate to track down Wiggins. She informs Harding that she failed to capture the programmer after begging Wiggins for aid in liberating herself from wrist control and bringing down the corporation. Meanwhile, Dalton and Tibbs apprehend Ray and return him to the laboratory, their S-computers are destroyed when Kate and Wiggins disrupt the reprogramming process. Dalton and Tibbs attempt to restrain Ray once he awakens. He kills them after a long struggle while the rest building is demolished. Harting confronts Ray, sure that now that his nanites have been depleted, the Marine would submit. Ray, to his astonishment, is prepared to die for triumph and detonates an explosive, destroying them both. Ray subsequently awakens with complete memory having been resurrected by Wiggins, who has improved his technique to make his nanites self-sufficient. The two men and Keat then set off to start a new life. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.